Lane, right now what we're going to look at is one of my very favorite chemical reactions. It's a bit of a decomposition, oxi uh, oxidation reaction. And it takes place with a chemical called ammonium dichromate, mm -hmm. which is this bright orange powder that we've got a pile of on the table in front of us. Mm -hmm. And what makes this really interesting, you know, we make in science class, you make a lot of volcanoes. You do the baking soda and the vinegar and it makes foam and you can color it red and it looks like lava. Mm -hmm. But to me, this is the best, just coolest chemical volcano that I've come up with. Um, it actually, it makes ash, it makes lava, it builds a mountain up like a volcano would do. And it's just a really amazing effect. So all we have to do is heat the ammonium dichromate enough to make it burn. Mm -hmm. And once it starts burning, we'll see the reaction take place. It lasts for several minutes. And once it starts burning, it does blow some ash up and that mm -hmm. ash isn't particularly good to breathe in. So we're going to want to move well away from it while it's burning. Okay. Once it's done, we'll come back. We'll look at the finished result. All right, uh, let's just put our goggles on. And we're going to light our pile of ammonium dichromate here. And you know, you don't have to run as soon as it lights, but once the ash starts coming up, we'll just kind of move away to the other side of the room until it's finished. Okay, now I think we're okay. We've got it burning here. And you see a little bit of ash starting to come up. As it gets worse, we'll kind of step away from it. And we're just going to let it burn. But you can see it kind of looks like lava coming out of a volcano, right? Ash coming up in the air just like an actual volcano would and even kind of building up a mountain as it goes. Now we're going to step over here. We'll come back when the reaction's finished. All right, so obviously looks a lot different than it did yeah. when we started, right? It's a pretty cool reaction, too. You know, you saw the fire. You saw the, you know, big pile of ash building up. You saw the ash coming up in the air. And really, the way this behaves is very similar to how an actual volcanic eruption would behave. You know, with a volcano, you have the magma that comes out, but you've got just tons and tons of ash that are blown into the air that surround, settle all around the surrounding area. You know, we covered this all over, and our, our covering here is pretty well covered in the ash that came off. Okay. And in this case, that ash, it's chromium oxide. And the great thing about this, like I say, just it's a very good representation of a volcano, great representation of a really cool chemical change.